There's a new proposal to get Illinois to 100% clean energy, but the group proposing it wants to make sure people aren't left behind in the process. Here's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich. Sponsors hope to cut down on emissions by converting school buses to electric with $30 million of funding over five years. Lawmakers would also provide an annual $50 million to help schools become carbon-free environments with new heating and cooling options incorporating solar panels. It would save these schools billions of dollars. And it's estimated $2.3 billion in operational expenses. So we're using our resources, our financial resources, as well as our natural resources, to move our state forward. Another goal in this legislation, addressing the lack of diversity in the energy industry. This bill requires that the renewable energy developers report on their workforce diversity. If a developer does not meet necessary metrics, they must, not, not can, but they must develop an action plan to get there because we want them to be there. Lawmakers also explain this plan could provide $50 million over 10 years for programs building an equitable and inclusive workforce. An additional $5 million would also go into the Illinois Works Program to recruit a diverse workforce for pre-apprenticeship training programs. At the same time, the group wants to preserve nuclear power. The three nuclear power plants near my constituents employ thousands of workers directly and many, many more indirectly. And without those plants, our state and our local communities would lose millions in tax revenue that keep the communities going. The plan creates 74 million megawatt hour carbon mitigation credits for zero emission facilities like the nuclear plant in Byron. Advocates say it could also protect 28,000 jobs at nuclear stations in Illinois that bring in roughly $125 million in tax revenue. The station is extremely important to the community. Without it, Ogle County would be a desolate area. Businesses would struggle and people would leave.